everybody, this is Hannah and Regal, and welcome to our channel. Today we're gonna be doing a really highly requested video, which is the story of how, how we, we met. met. So before we begin though, please make sure to like and subscribe. Hit that button below. Yep, it really helps us out. And anyways, Justin is gonna be starting since the story started with him. So two years ago, I got a friend request after I had released a song, and I was going through that person's profile, and I saw a picture of her, and I said, who is that? <laughs> and I sent her a friend request, and she accepted shortly after, and I ran out into the kitchen. I said, Mom, I think I just found my wife. <laughs> <laughs> and so on my end, when I got the friend request, I was looking and I was like, who is this? And I was going to delete it, honestly, because I didn't know who Justin was. And I looked through our mutual friends just to see if maybe he knew me from somewhere. And there was actually a bunch of mutual friends that um, were from my church. And I thought maybe I had just moved back because I was in Hawaii. I'd been gone for a while, so I didn't know if maybe he was like new to the church. And so I was like, well, I'll just add him as a friend. And if he's weird, I'll delete him. She liked what she saw. Don't lie. <laughs> I mean, I did, but I was just skeptical. I didn't know who you were. Yeah. So then I started posting things, not super often because I'm not on Facebook a lot. And he, anytime I posted something or was tagged in something within an hour or less, I would see Justin Hummus Cook hearted the video. <laughs> and so I was like, who is this guy? And so every time I saw him pop up, I'd always like look through his profile. I'm like, who is this? I don't I'd know. I'd let her know that I loved what she was doing. <laughs> and later to find out, he actually has that notification for when I posted to notify him. And that's why he liked it so fast. Yeah. Because he's I keeping know tabs she's on doing. me. So the reason why I did that, I just felt it was weird that I just we never met in person. I didn't yeah. want to message her just randomly and be like, hey, I honestly, in my heart, wanted to meet her. And we're in a small town. Mm -hmm. um, at the time we were in a, you know, we could have ran into each other. So I was kind of hoping and praying that I just kind of run into her. Like I was looking through her for her in town. Like I just go someplace and be like, hey, maybe she'll be here. <laughs> like, so before Justin had even found me on Facebook, what happened? Oh, well, um, you know, that summer, it was a couple months later after me and my mom had prayed. Um, I had been through a, you know, bad relationship and I was really hoping for a wife, obviously wanted to get married and find someone good. And I just felt like a woman that I desired wasn't out there. So anyways, was really discouraged and, you know, shout out to mom, you know, <laughs> love me and in the midst of being frustrated, we were, um, she prayed with me and you know, a couple months later um, is when I saw her face. So That's when I showed up. So, yeah. And also during that time too, I was feeling the same way. I was just kind of in a season where I was just kind of moving around everywhere and then I moved home and I was just also just ready to, you know, find my husband and start a family and just find the person that I was god had for me and so also had a similar incident with my dad we were riding our horses and i just started crying and i was like i just don't think i'm ever gonna find that person and my dad's like don't right. worry you will yeah and a few weeks later i met justin so and fast forward fast now. forward now so those details are important. so now i've been loving her photos for and, a good month and a half now and so then i was like i saw that she had checked in to a concert in town yeah. And I was like, I am going to be at that concert. <laughs> so I showed up. You yeah, know? I apparently, so I was at church with my friend and I saw the sun for a Colton Dixon concert. And I was like, oh, that's ne like next Tuesday. We should go to that. And I just happened to see it. And so it was definitely a God thing. Because well, I found a way to meet her. Mm -hmm. And so this is what happened. I showed up um and uh there was a big long backstory about my car that wasn't running at the time <laughs> that i had to get like it insurance. was a lot of work to get i spent here. a ton of money getting my car because at the time <laughs> i had this sports car that was not very winter and just he was living in texas for a long time and moved back home to minnesota long story short though i wasn't gonna have my mom drop me off at this concert because <laughs> i had a car i was paying his for his car just wasn't it wasn't working it was a long day of getting ready to get this car and a drop like a like most of my money to get this thing back on the road <laughs> and um, meet me and yes. he didn't even know for sure like because honestly before the concert I was thinking about backing out because I was just I was just kind of really sad during this time and I was like oh I don't even want to go and so I was thinking about backing out but then I already had invited two of my friends I'm like oh, I don't want to do that and flake on them so I went to my mom's house right before the concert because I had just come home from work and yeah. I was redoing my makeup and I was walking up the stairs and I literally felt like 
this voice inside me, not an audible voice, but like God telling me to my heart, you're gonna meet your future husband tonight. And I was just like, right away, I was just like, ugh, whatever. Cause like, I just would always be like, maybe I'll meet my future husband today, or maybe he'll be the grocery store day when I go there. So I just thought it was like another thought in my head. Little did she know. Little did I know a few hours later, I'd meet him. Anyways. So what happened was I showed up, I luckily found a buddy of mine and I got to chill next to him so I didn't look so creepy. And we were in line getting a coffee and she walks through the door and like she did like this look back because she's holding the door for her friend and then she looks forward and her hair like whipped and <laughs> she looked at me and like I, she was smiling and everything and my heart literally I didn't look at you you didn't look you looked in my direction you weren't like looking into my oh. soul or something you looked okay. in my direction and i was like oh my gosh that's her like my heart skipped like i literally <laughs> i felt it like jump like it went thunk, thunk. i was like oh my god i went and got my coffee and she scurried upstairs well this is what happened on my end i walked in and i did not expect that i would see this guy she threw Facebook. me under the bus to her Listen. and her friends no 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 yeah we got she had been listening to my music she had been also kind of interested but she goes and tells no this is not what happened though let me tell so i walk in and i was ready to go i was Listen. with my cousin and i opened the door and the first thing i, I kind of like surveyed the room and i looked and i saw him and i was like oh crap that's the guy that keeps liking my facebook photos i'm like i don't want to see him so then i turned my cousin and i was like kaylee that's the guy that's stalking me on facebook i'm like i don't want to see him I'm like let's get up there quick that is throwing me under the bus yes Okay. She's like, that's the guy that's stalking me. <laughs> also, I have all of his songs on repeat right now because I'm curious. Anyways, so then we get to the concert. We scurry up the stairs because I did not want to run into him because I just thought it would be awkward. Like, not that I thought he was creepy. I just was like, this is kind of weird. But she really gave that vibe to her friends. So now yeah. they're like on the defensive <laughs> when like, what happens later. Yeah. So, so then anyways, we get to the concert. I see him walking because I got in before him and I was just like, oh, he's kind of sitting close to us. And I was like, I'll just not look at him, avoid eye contact because I was just, I don't know, I just felt weird about it. So then the concert was going on for a while and there was a few different bands and I could see where she was sitting. We we're sitting across the room from each other. I was a little higher up and it was like bleacher kind of status. So I was looking over to the right and I could see her and I was just like, you know, scoping her out and stuff and just trying to pump myself up and get a good opportunity because I went through all this trouble to come. <laughs> I hadn't been dating or anything for quite a few years and I was just nervous and I was just trying to pump myself up and I'm like, I'm not gonna just come here to not speak to her. So at about a couple hours in, there was like a little intermission and um, I went up and introduced myself and I- And and so then my perspective is I saw him start walking up the stairs and I, I was like, oh no. I was like, I hope he's not gonna talk to me. So like I turned around and tried to make like I was like doing something, but he kept walking towards me. I'm like, oh, I better just sit down. And at this time I had a huge burly beard. Cause I was, was like the like woman- It was like a mountain man beard. Yeah, I looked like I was coming out of hibernation like, i was like coming out of this. hibernation of life he and was, um, it was huge and i had like um like a man bun thing and a and yeah, a beard not, and not a but i was wearing a cap <laughs> hey she was a fan she was I a fan. anyways i'm very glad that you have short hair now <laughs> yes so anyways i was like the woman i'm gonna marry she's gonna love me regard you know she'll see through the beard you know so she did <laughs> but i introduced myself i said hi my name is justin we're friends on, and we said it at the same time. We finished we each other's sandwiches. Facebook. No, but yeah, we said Facebook at the same time. And he was just like, so who are your friends? And I was like, oh, this is my cousin. This is my friend. And he was So just meanwhile, like, backdrop to what she had said at the beginning, she was like, yeah, this is a guy that's like stalking me. <laughs> so it was actually her cousin that was with her. And she was like. And my friend. And her friend. Yeah. And so her cousin was like, just. Like, what are you doing? I could just yeah, see it in her eyes. Yeah, she was giving him the stink eye. Because, like, like, I was like, oh, my gosh, I don't want to see him. So she was just like, she was just like you know, the look you? of, like, get away what from us. Doing? Get away from what? her. Yeah. Yeah. And so it was probably, like, a couple minutes interaction. And she was, I mean, like, and she, she wasn't She was cordial just, when I was talking to her. But yeah. from my peripherals, I knew she was like, she knew, what's like, you doing over what's here? What's up with you? <laughs> so, anyways, it was just, a, you know, a few minute interaction. He was just like, oh, you're liking the concert, yada, yada. And then, so then he was just like, okay, well, it's nice meeting you. I'm going to go sit back down and I was like, okay. And I just remember after, I was just like, wow, he was really nice. And I thought, wow, she has the most gorgeous smile. <laughs> and yeah. so then the concert went on. 
and it was about to end and so me and my cousin and my friend started leaving and then all of a sudden from behind me i felt this like whoosh of wind and all of a sudden justin's right there hey, and he doing? starts talking to me like and it wasn't just like oh hey and it was just like he started talking to me like we're in a mid sentence he's like so yeah that band that had a really good something something they were in mid conversation and I yeah was he just, just like to... interjected himself like he was already like talking yeah. to us I was I was like oh Take notes. hi <laughs> and so I went down to the base of the stairs and before this I told my cousin I was like I really have to go to the bathroom because that's why we were trying to like hurry out and get out before the lines got really long in the bathroom so in mid sentence of me talking to her well no so we got down to the lobby area and Justin started talking again to us and just saying like oh yeah that was you know really good concert what was your favorite I was blah, figuring blah. out her musical preference yeah and, and it was just you know kind of short interaction and I just was thinking yeah he's really nice and then my cousin she was like no I want to save her from him so she knew how to go to the bathroom she, she pulled me to like this she's like all right Hannah didn't you go to the bathroom and I was like yeah and she was like pulled me to the bathroom and then I just turned around and I was like bye because Justin was still there and well, I, remember, I think while you were late I was like nice meeting you and that because and then I turned around and then yeah. said bye on the way home I rode with my cousin and she's like that guy was so into you. And I was like, no, he's not. And I'm like, I he totally was, was just, and I was like, he was probably just really friendly. Cause he was like, not just really nice to me. He was really nice to my cousin and my friend too. So like, I just thought he was just like one of those really friendly people. I didn't really think too much of it, but then I did an experiment. I was like, I'm gonna post a picture on Facebook because I just was curious to see if he would like it still as fast totally as he did, did after he had met me. And so sure enough, a few minutes later, a heart from Justin Cook showed up on my location. She loved it. And I was like, okay, so, so after meeting me, he's still liking my stuff. So I was like, this is interesting. So then I was kind of expecting him to message me and I was actually going to message him because I kind of felt bad for just getting kind of like abruptly leaving our conversation. So I was honestly thinking on the way home, like maybe I should message him and just kind of like apologize because I felt a little bad. But then I was, like, mm. I was like, no, if he wants to message me, he can. <laughs> I was like, I don't want to start anything that's not supposed to happen by like messaging someone because I always want to be pursued by someone. And so I'm like, you know what? I'm not going to open any doors. If something's supposed to happen, it will. So then Justin also did a test. So I was <laughs> curious if kind of similar, I posted like a video of me singing or whatever. And I was like, if she likes it, I'll, um, I'll, you know, ask her out on a date. Cause I wasn't like, I really thought she was pretty and I thought she, you know, we had a great conversation and she was so nice, but I was still nervous. And I was like, if she likes it, then, you know, that means she's at least paying attention, you know? <laughs> Yeah. So, I mean, it was enough for me to actually go. I posted it. She did like and it. And so what happened on my end is I was at work and I was training in at my new job at this time. And I had a break and I was scrolling. And I saw the video and I listened. And I was like, oh, wow, he has a really good voice. And I didn't like it then. But then I had another break a few hours later. And, and I went back in on me. to the video and I was like, I'm going to like it. And that, that was another was... God moment because Justin's like, I'm not going to ask her on a date unless she likes it. So this. she did that. And then. <laughs> and I liked it. And then uh, I messaged her about the next day. The next day to go. So a few days after the concert, I had mess messaged her about going to coffee and hanging out. That's kind of that's how we met. And there's a lot of other details and stuff. So if there's anything specific about her, you know, story or relationship that you want to know, just let us know. Put it in the comments or send it on our Instagram or TikTok, whatever. But that's just kind of the highlight reel of how we met. And just you know our story and i just want to give you guys a personal we want to thank you so much yes. for all the love and support mm -hmm. you guys have given us on our social medias mm -hmm. TikTok, instagram mm -hmm. um it's just been a really big blessing to just see people enjoy the content we put out mm -hmm. and also just laugh with you guys and pray mm -hmm. with you guys and mm -hmm. so we are just trying to have fun with you guys and bring a little joy to mm -hmm. the world and make you laugh. And so mm -hmm. we are just excited to continue doing that with you yeah. and hope you guys like this little segment on yes. our story and how and we met. Make sure to subscribe if you haven't yet because we're going to try to post a little bit more on our YouTube more consistently and answer your guys' questions that you have in more depth instead of just like little 10 second videos or just an Instagram post. You can actually sit and listen to us talk. And For sure. Stuff. If so, you got to listen to some tunes, make sure to check yes. out Regal Noise. I have a YouTube channel and also all the social media. We'll put, I'll put all, all, all our links. links to our his music and our other pages and everything yes. below. So. Anyways, thank you so much. We love you guys. We love you. Bye. Bye.